sport. Holly is with us. And if you were writing a film script about Argentina's World Cup campaign, it would mirror pretty much what's happened, wouldn't it? I think that's right, Victoria, although I don't know if they perhaps would have written it like that. It maybe wasn't the campaign they were going for. There was so much pressure going into that game with Ecuador last night. If you think of it, Argentina haven't not made a World Cup qualifiers, haven't not made a World Cup finals, rather, since 1970. They've won two of them, so it's just inconceivable to imagine that they wouldn't be there. So when Ecuador scored that first goal in the very first minute of the game last night, I think a nation held their breath. But... Thanks to this man, Lionel Messi, a hat-trick saved the day for Argentina. They eventually went on to win 3-1, which means that they will be heading off to the World Cup in Russia next year. Let's bring us up to date with everything. That's right. As, as you've seen, so many celebrations, so much happiness for so many of those teams, but huge disappointment. If you think now, we saw Portugal, of course, going through as well, which was just an incredible result for them too. It wouldn't have, would have been a World Cup without them either, would it, Victoria? They beat Switzerland 2-0. A huge disappointment for Switzerland, who had won their last nine consecutive games. But that does mean that they are through Portugal. And maybe, maybe the fans... Huge shock so far. The United States, they were eliminated last night. And that was partly to do with Panama's win. They are 2-1 win. They beat Costa Rica 2-1 and that was a, a quite a controversial game actually Victoria, mostly because of, of a goal that may or may not have gone over the line but it does mean that the USA will not be in Russia next year which is the first time for them since per USA. I mean it, it was just such a, a horrible game for them too. It was a shock defeat uh, to Trinidad and Tobago in part thanks to an own goal and uh, Omar Gonzalez, who was res responsible for that own goal, he spoke just after the game of his huge disappointment. Oh, you do have to feel for him, though, don't you, Victoria? Like I say, these huge celebrations that we've seen, it just brings you right back down to earth again when you see that kind of disappointment. But plenty more to come when we get into the playoffs, though. Thank you very much, Holly. More from Holly throughout the morning.